Hey, good morning, y'all. We've got a dandy for you today, all right? I'm super pumped. So, a couple weeks ago, I got onto this auction on GSA, just randomly searching on there, and I ended up seeing this older US Forest Service Type 3 wildland firefighting truck that uh, they had several of them that were up for auction down out of uh, just south of Yosemite, and I started bidding on them, and then one of them I won for 1,800 and I think it was $60 or $70, a smoking deal. I mean, this is a 1997 International DT 466. It's the, uh, it's not just a crew cab, it's the mega cab for the International, all right? It is a two wheel drive. It has a six speed manual transmission in it and a two speed rear end, so. But uh, caveat with the truck is that it's not running. It's set for multiple years at their yard. They haven't used it. They took delivery of their new trucks and that thing just got put in reserve and then parked and never used. So they say that there's been some rodent damage with the wiring and that it won't start when they put batteries on it. I don't know. I didn't have great pictures of it. It was uh, pretty, uh, pretty bad pictures to be bidding on it. So this is like pretty much a blind bid. You know, essentially, I did call them and talk to the mechanic that was there, Larry. He said that, yeah, they threw batteries in it. They couldn't get the start. They saw that, you know, some wiring had been chomped on. They didn't diagnose it beyond that, all right? It's got like 101 or 104,000 miles on it. So, like, I'm thinking that we get this truck. I take the box off, take the pump off because it is a shorter bed truck. And they put a flat bag on, and this would be the new Holland truck, all right? Because the Dodge here, I put a brand new freaking tuner on it and done a bunch of work to the Dodge, but the Dodge isn't liking to haul the heavy loads that I'm doing right now. I'm going down and I'm picking up military surplus, and my loads are somewhere combined weight, I'm somewhere between like twenty to twenty-six thousand dollars for my combined load. So, anyways. The, I had to get the truck transported up here. Just got the call that it's on its way out to Stewart's right now. We're running out there to go meet up with them. I got a tow truck on the way and we're just gonna end up pulling this thing off. It is air brake, so it might be a little bit more sketchy to get it off the vehicle. So I got a phone call coming in. Oh, they just told me that you were like in the area. Sheesh, yeah, that's what the broker just told me, yeah. The broker's like, yeah, he's like right down the road. So I just got the, uh, the wrecker heading that way. Okay, well, I'm gonna call them off. Well, okay, so I was told that by the broker that the truck was like within the area, like just, you know, pretty close and everything like that. Just got done talking to the truck driver and he's like, no, I'm five hours away. So we gotta pump the brakes on this one. You know, I mean, it's gonna happen, but I gotta call up my buddy here with the wrecking company and uh, let him know, hey, we're five hours out. Don't get heading this way. It's just fiasco there. So anyways, I gotta get on the hook. All right, just got up here to Stuart shop. We still got a couple hours wait till the uh, transport gets up here, but I wanted to make sure that I was here, talk to them, let them know everything's going on. Recontacted with uh, my buddies with the tow truck and everything like that. Get that ready, all right, and they'll be out at an appropriate time. We're up here in the yard right now, but this isn't where we're... All right, battery died on me there. But like I'm saying, we're not unloading the truck up here at the shop directly. There's a spot right down below us over here that it's gonna be enough room for the semi with a step deck on it and then the tow truck right beside it. And uh, we can get it around there and maneuver. 
get everything that uh, needs to happen. Cell service up here is real spotty, not very great or anything like that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go back down to the local market, just hang out there until I get word that the truck's on its way up and end up driving up here and get it done, all right? Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. I so windy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How that sound? Yeah, that sound. All right, so after sitting here for multiple hours, finally got word that the truck it just passed the Ashland scales and should be here within an hour. Okay, so pretty excited uh just let my friends over at goodfellas telling know that uh you know get moving this way and uh the rest of the people together so we can get this unloaded i'm gonna head back up to the property and prep for uh what's coming up all right pretty excited finally get to see it all right all right the truck's just a couple of miles out now we've had semis up here no problem before and everything like that but there is a couple tricky spots they end up coming down the paved road right here. And then this is damn near freaking, actually more than a 90. This is like almost a hundred degree turn. I mean, it's got a big cut out here so they can swing wide to get back up it. But we're gonna have to monitor that. All right, so this is the entrance of the driveway. Coming up uh, Dixie Gulch right here. You can see that it comes up and then this is our cut in to the come to the driveway. Now this is nice and wide all the way over there to the bank that the Dodge is at. And then it almost cuts all the way back. You can see here. And then down that strip right there, that takes us right to that uh, other like 100 degree turn. But this one right here, this should be fine for the truck to probably be able to pull around, no problem. We've had semis in here before, like I said, shouldn't have anything to worry about there. All right, back here, got Eric with uh, Goodfellas towing. He just showed up with his big badass semi tow truck and we got to talking and you're saying like maybe we should just drop it right here and not bring it all the way into the property yeah i was thinking if we drop it here wouldn't have to winch it off the trailer and i can maneuver a lot better than a full semi oh yeah so that'd be good we don't have to have them go around those steep corners probably just have them come up the road here drop it off there he can end up hooking up Gets this thing off in a safe manner, and then he'll just hook up to it and tow it up to the property, and we'll be fine there. Yep. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. Hot dang, hot dang. Woo! It was my first look at it, man. I pretty much bought it blind. Hell of a bumper, that's for sure. It's got a PTL pump underneath it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that flat. They are talking about that this bead came off of this thing and the load started to shift a little bit, make the weight off a little bit. So they had to freaking adjust the sum on the way up. That's all right, be able to take care of that. I didn't look, see, I mean, they don't look like they're freaking big time cracked. Yeah, okay, there's some, some cracks with it set and whatnot. Hi, Speed. Hi, hi, hi. Smell my puppies? Oh, you're a good doggy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Beautiful. Park it. Park. Thank oh, and well behaved. Hey, hello. Can you beg for me? Oh, so beg. well mannered. That's not a beg. <laughs> Park. He's an 11 month old standard poodle. Yeah. Purebred. Right on. Wicked smart. So, he travels with us. He makes an amazing truck companion. That is awesome. So, until he steals your burrito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like to Watch snake those head on you, huh? Oh my God. So right now what we got going on, we got an airline here that's hooked up to the tow truck going up to the type three fire engine, filling up the air tanks on that. See if it'll end up holding air. Do you hear it leaking at all? Anywhere around on it right now? Nope. 
go pressurizing. Yeah. Huh. All right. But that's not to say that an airline's not worn out or got a hole in it. Yeah. All right, we just came up the pressure on the truck. Don't hear any air leaks as of yet. We haven't actually pumped the brakes or anything like that. But right now, man, we look like we're doing pretty good. Fingers crossed that it holds up that way. Yes, I got you. Insurance freaking policy in case you need it. <laughs> See? Just go nice and slow. Keep it straight. All right. Well, I can't tell what's straight. You're, you're straight. good. Straight. Yeah, you're coming off perfect. Hang on one second. Okay. What about the ramps? Should we move them out a little bit? Right. So that outside door right there is flat. So we're going to have to have everything on the inside. Yeah, you, just got, got you, gotta worry about, you gotta worry about the front. Turn, turn your wheel to the. There you go. Yeah. See, I actually wasn't working. The one in the hat side. It's about experience. There you go. It's gonna feel real weird coming off. All right, turn her. Come, come on back. I'm worried about uh, the tire is going to be barely on it. The second, the outside ramp, we're really. Hey, Eric. Ma'am, the outside ramp here, we're more on that freaking outside door than the inside one. We're going to want to push that thing in, so I'm not to think. To get most of the weight onto that inside duel, don't we? Yeah. Won't go too much because you're going to get the front tire on. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Oh, we're going to be split. And he'll be just about center on that ramp. Alright. Whew. Great back. straight right now you're good Stop. oh right there wrong. we just gotta check that inside or that front that front steer looks good 
Come on, check the other side. That's good. Turn it. Turn Hurry it. up, because we're starting to move a little. Come on back. So when you come off, let it roll back a ways. Come on out, sea bass. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, oh, oh! I was wondering, I'm like, what is going on out here? <laughs> Good job! All right, well, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, off the trailer, fine, man. Makes me feel a lot better. So we're hooked up to the tow truck. All I gotta do now is signatures on the truck, you know, for the shipping company and end up getting my title. And then we're gonna take it up there and drop it off. This was, this went so much smoother than I thought it was going to. It's awesome. All right, I appreciate you folks. Thank you so much, sir. Ma'am, thank you so much. You have been awesome. It was so good working with y'all. I mean, you made this way simpler than it needed to be. And that's all because of you. I appreciate it. All right, got her unhooked from the tow truck. Let's go ahead and check, see what's going on underneath the hood on this thing. I mean, they didn't even try to start this thing? I don't know, dude. I'm not seeing any wires chewed over here yet. Are you seeing any over there? No. I mean, I definitely do see like droppings on top of the block and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, your passion is pulling out there. There's a dead rat in the back. Nice. There's what? Uh, dead rat in that rear compartment. Is there? That's awesome. Great, dead rats, that'll be fun to clean up. I bet you they just freaking didn't try it all to start it, man. Well, you never know. Bring some batteries out, put in, and see if it fires up. Yeah. Ooh, buddy. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of rat turds. I don't see anything chewed up yet, but this doesn't look too bad, man. Man, oh, all right, that's locked. Let's see here. Where's the, oh, that's way in the back. All right. Oh, fuck, it stinks in here bad, man. That's not pleasant. Oh. Old rat urine. This thing was set up for SCBAs. That'd be where your oxygen tank, the self-contained breathing apparatus would be in these seats. I didn't know they had them set up for structure. Yeah, some of them did. Interesting. Very interesting. Go find this nasty rat that Stu's talking about. Let's see here. Yeah, lots of rat turds. It's gonna be in a major cleaning. Mm. 
Oh gosh, it stinks so bad. Where'd you say the rat was at? Oh, the rear compartment, huh? Oh, yeah. That guy's freaking petrified. Man, but these things, these are good compartments, dude. I mean, these are stout. Big old springs hold them open, or shocks. Oh, yeah, those are freaking, they ain't holding that open. Don't put your, you definitely don't want your head underneath that when you let go of it, or trust that system. But, hot dang. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's not. Yeah. Just needs a little grease, that's all. Needs to be worked a little bit. Got hose reels on it. Got the pump back here, the controls and everything. Another compartment here, dude. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sized compartment. Here's the handle for this one. I don't know, we'll figure it out later. Yeah. Not dang. Dude, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. Diesel doesn't go bad that quick, but that's been Whew. for a long, oh, long time. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, you can see that tank. Hell, for that freaking five years old in the forest service rig, it's really not bad. I wonder if that cap was off. Try to start it on that shit. Yeah, definitely gonna have to drop that tank before trying to start it. I bet you they didn't even, or either that, or maybe they tried to start it and it freaking plugged up the fuel system or something like that, the filters. Yeah, I doubt it. Three dead batteries. They, it doesn't even out. look like they tried to pull them at all. No. Well, if that's the most of our concern, that would be awesome. Drop a fuel tank, replace tires, batteries, start it up. That'd be sick. All right, I've got to get paid or pay up uh, Eric here for this whole tow and everything like that. Make sure it all happens. You guys stand by for the next video. We're going to be starting this thing up, all right? Y'all have a good one.